Hey, what is it guys? Today we are going to make a link in between the level manager and the player script. Well, actually in between the level manager and the whole scene. So everybody is going to know about this guy and he'll be able to control the flow of the game. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and open up the level manager. And in here, we're going to add a single new value here. It's going to be something really special though. It is going to be a public level man actually public static level manager that we're gonna call instance now this is a really special field because it is a static field what does static mean actually static means in this case static means that it is going to be available anywhere in our code so now that we have this guy over here uh, this static field called instance if we go somewhere else uh, say the player for example and we just try to code in our start. We type in level manager dot instance, and it's actually there. We can actually use this in our player script, which might not sound too amazing right now, but believe me, it, it actually is, and it's quite useful. So, um, like we saw before in level manager, what we get is a level manager field value. So, we get this, this whole thing, we get it from the uh, comfort of our player script. So just to give you a good example of what we can do with this, we're actually going to make our uh, win point right now. So so let's go down here and do a public void win. Simple as that, let's just call it win. And inside our win we'll do debug.log and we're going to say victory. Okay. Now let's go somewhere else, any other script that you have in your solution or in your project. Uh, and let's go here in, say, the void start of our player. So we know this is called every single start. Then we can simply do, over here we can say, level manager dot instance win. So from here, from the start of our player, we can actually call win, which is a public function in our level manager. So that's actually really, really cool. Now we're going to get a small error and I'll get to that in a second, but let's just hit play. Null reference, so what does this mean exactly? Let's go double click on that. It says that level manager instance that win returns an error, uh, a null reference exception. So what this basically means is that instance does not exist. We're trying to call this instance, but the, the field value, so this thing over here, it does not exist. We never set it. We never put a value inside of there. And that's actually true. We never did put a value inside of there. So basically our null reference exception means that there is no level manager assigned to that very um, field over here. And we are going to set it right here actually. Since we do have one in the scene, it's over here, if you remember correctly. It's our level manager, it has the level manager script, and this is the one we want to use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here, we're gonna say private void. We could do start, but I'm going to use another callback in Unity. That is called awake. Now make sure you make no mistake in this, the capital at the right place and all that good stuff, because it is also a callback from Unity. So it is the same exact thing as saying private void start but awake is called right before start so we make sure that we call this first and then start this call now in the awake I'll simply say instance is equal to this what this means is that whenever the game starts whenever the game boots before we call the start function in every single script we're gonna call awake and then in our awake we're going to go over here, we're going to set that value to ourself, actually. So, level manager is over here, the game starts, right before all that good logic is made, it's going to say, okay, this script over here is equal to myself. And since it is a static field, if we go in player now and we say level manager instance dot win, then this guy is going to call his own win function. Okay, so it sounds complicated, but it really uh, isn't that hard to understand. Once you got a good grip of the concept, you're going to see how powerful this is. So 
I'm hitting play, and as you can see down here, it says victory. Of course, we're not actually winning for real, but uh, since we put that function inside the start of our player, it's just being called in the start of the player. And now I'm having a glitch with MonoDevelop, so let me just close it. Uh, they're hiding the box behind. I hate that. Okay, so let's uh, let's move that function around. So let's move the win function around. We are going to create ourselves another prefab with a tag, and we'll put that instead. But first off, let's remove the level manager instance dot win from the start. Now we're gonna go in our game object menu up here. Again, create a new cube because our whole game is made out of cube, why not? And let's position it somewhere. So maybe over here. And this is going to be our win, win box. So this is going to be wherever you uh, end the level. So again, I'll make a new material for that. Let's call it win box material. Again, same texture. And it needs a victory color, maybe a small green like that. A pale green, not a small green. Okay, so maybe not a green. Oh, maybe a nice sign. Okay. Yeah, this does look like victory, I guess. Anyway, so the purpose of this is just to, to have another object out there. So we're going to make this um, thinner and taller. Okay, so this is it. This is my win, win, uh, win box, basically. Whenever we hit this, we want to win the game. Good. So I'm just going to position it around here. Let's create a new tag like we do for our, um, our new object, usually. So add tag, this is going to be the win box tag. Great. Again, let's go back on that. Go in the tag section, win box. And let's also make it, actually let's change the name first, so winbox. And then let's make it a prefab as well. So drag and drop this right inside your prefab folder. Good. Now we go back in our player, player script of course. Let's go down there where we check uh, the collision. And below teleport, I'll do if your tag is winbox then I am going to say levelmanager.instance.win we're going to be using that um, instance a lot actually so let's go ahead and try to win in our game in our really incredible 2D platformer game that has a lot of mechanics <laughs> not really but uh, we, need, we need to start somewhere right okay so this is our win box let's go ahead and hit it victory great so um, in the future episode we are going to start creating our UI a little bit we're gonna start making UI so we get some nice feedback we also get teleported to some kind of menu when we fail or when we win and that's going to be the future of this game alright guys so thanks for watching if you have any question or comment please leave them in the section below so the comment section below if you enjoyed this or if you learned something please leave me a like I really appreciate it and also subscribe for more tutorials so and I will be seeing you next time